All right, Killer Clan, welcome to Giant Foods. Did you ever go to Subway and you order a chicken bacon ranch sub and all they give you is that little 11 inch flat, tasteless sandwich? You're left unsatisfied and sad. Not here, not on this channel. I'm gonna show you how to make a real chicken bacon ranch sub, a three footer to be exact. Let's put this thing together. Mr. Pool, so we got we got our chicken here. I don't know if I'm using all five pounds of chicken. That's an awful lot of chicken, but I got I got some of the good stuff here. We got this, uh, you know, ends and bits bacon that I like to use. We got two pounds of bacon. We're gonna go ahead and open that up. We're gonna get that put in there because bacon. We got our oven preheated. And you know how I like my bacon? Not good. Gelatinous because it's delicious that way. But maybe, just maybe, that's a big maybe. I'll cook it a little bit more for you guys today. Well, there's nothing worse than filling up the comment section with, that bacon's uncooked, that bacon's uncooked. No, it's not uncooked. <laughs> it's uncooked. It's not uncooked. <laughs> it's to temp. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just rubbery. There's no temp on But, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get this bacon spread out. We'll get it in the oven. Okay, so we got this thing. In prepped up. Let's go ahead and toss that in. Let our bacon flow in there. Get this big, huge industrial pack is, of that is chicken. That is that is that is a big bag of chicken. Go ahead and dump this in. Say we went went about four pounds. Yeah, there might be a pound. I think. Leave a pound in there. Got some pepper jack here, blammo. We got some bread and butter stackers. It's bread and butter. Now comment down below what you like as far as dill, bread and butter, sweet and sassy. There's all kinds of different pickles. I am a bread and butter man myself. Diet ranch. That's not diet. <laughs> it's not ranch. really diet ranch. <laughs> no. Should have got diet ranch. Help keep the calories up. We think, Gene. All right, Mr. Pool, so we've got our bacon cooking. It's uh, already done as far as I'm concerned. Look at that. Mm, there's a little bit of color it's on It's getting close. It's more cooked than usual. It's more cooked than normal. And there's uh, this stuff here. And we got this tray here. That one's almost good. I would say they're getting pretty good. I'm gonna uh, get ready to assemble this thing. We got our chicken up here. I'm gonna put a little color on that thing. All right, for all of our giant food challenges, we now feature the Corkley's Bakery Roll. It's a heck of a... That is a heck of a roll. Supplied by the We Are In, located in Phillipsburg. If you're ever in Phillipsburg, make sure you check out the We Are In. They're the ones that hook us up with these six and three footers. We're gonna go ahead and close this thing down the middle. Now this one, I actually got it fresh, and it's not, it's not a day old. It is. Oh, looks less crisp. I had them take it out of the freezer when I got there today. Look at that. Good fluffy inside. Look how nice that is. It's perfect. I feel like the foundation of this thing should probably have some ranch dressing on it. Yeah, probably. The one thing I never understood about Subway is they always put all the dressing like directly yeah, so, on top of the lettuce so and we, get it so everywhere. We, got, we, we did put it, we put a little bit down first.
Yeah. We're gonna bring his first mm -hmm. step. The chicken pour. <laughs> the chicken pour, kinda. Not really a more pour, it's more of a tumble. Yeah. I think I'm getting more off the bread than I am on the bread. Top of pick it up. So there's the first one. Go back in and pick it up here. Grab it before Anderson looks, gets a bunch. Looks molten half a lot. Or molten half. Molten yeah. Molten lava. Molten lava, molten molten lava, lava, lava hot. Molten yeah. lava that. It already smells delicious in here. Smell it. Got the other pan here. Yeah, five pounds of chicken might have been too much for that thing. I think so. I, I figured that uh, four was just about right. And it ends up being about seven eighths of a pound per foot, which is a lot. All right, so we got that on. Now you better cut that cheese into triangles like Subway would. <laughs> a Subway. Subway cuts their cheese into triangles. Andy Poole feels like I should do that myself, but these technically are triangles. For a sub this big, they have to stay full size. This ain't no Subway sub, this is a man sub right here. You get to pick your cheese when you get Subway, and I, I, I pick Pepper Jack, because Pepper Jack is delicious. And it just so happened to work out. Look at that, Andy Poole. And, Strippos. That's the start of a pretty delicious looking chicken and bacon ranch. We're melting the cheese, we're we're doing all the good stuff. In Subway they usually rip you off a couple wimpy pieces of bacon in there. This is clearly not a uh, not your typical not Subway your typical sandwich. Subway sandwich. This is a killer size version of it. None of that wimpy bacon stuff, you know, we're, we're loading it up. Because bacon. All right, so we're bacon, we're chicken, we're cheesed. I'd eat that sandwich. I'm gonna get this. that ranch pour like that. Look at that. Drizzler on the top. Give her a little bit of extra. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on this side because then I'll have to try to put it on top of the lettuce. And we got some onion for on this thing. I'm gonna forgot to pickle this thing up, Andy Poole. You don't wanna do that. You got the stacker. Stacker it. You probably just ruined that sandwich for some people. Yeah, probably. <laughs> those, those pickle haters. Probably pickle haters. Nate Figs. Nate Figs would be like, uh oh, you ruined it. Healthy lettuce here to stick on top. Dogs are getting the scrappers. All right, Andy Pool. There it is. The ultimate chicken and bacon ring. And I almost forgot, you know, you can't have a Subway, you, you get a choice with your side. So I'm gonna put some barbecue potato chips with it because kettle cooks are delicious. All right, Killer Clan, so as you saw in the previous clips, Mr. Poole and myself went ahead and put together this monster chicken bacon ranch, not Subway style, this is killer style. 
I chose my side as some barbecue potato chips kettle cooked because they're delicious. I was planning on letting this cool down a little bit, but I got the coldest water out and that made the entire table cool. If you like these bottles and you want something that's gonna keep your drink cool all day long, jump over there, use my link below, get yourself one of these 21 ounces all the way up to a gallon. Let's get into this chicken bacon ranch. All right, so I gave this thing a few minutes to cool down. We're gonna go ahead and get this challenge started. Like I said, it's around nine pounds. Not really the biggest challenge, but I wanted to gear some stuff towards deliciousness versus just overall quantity. But you guys are all aware of how much I can eat. So let's just enjoy this thing. It's a monster. It's chicken bacon ranch. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Chicken bacon ranch. Like I said, I got this, uh, real fresh today, none of that use it the next day kind of style thing. That was a horrible idea the last time. There's a cross section of this beast. I'm losing half, losing half of it. Mm. You'll be never getting anything like that at Subway. Anderson got in my thing. Lost me. I thought it was a good movie. <clears throat> really tasted the bacon. Didn't overpower it with ranch. I do got some extra ranch over here in case of you. Messy but delicious. Would you recommend that your viewers similar to copy of your party? Yeah, Mr. Pool just brought up an interesting thought. You guys should re recreate some of these things for like family gatherings. And see if people enjoy them. He's falling apart. You lose half of it. You have to coddle it. Yeah, this thing weighs more than a subway sub does here. Just tell these stumps anything I've ever had at Subway. Man, that's good. Look at that. It used to be my go to sandwich at Subway. Chicken bacon, man. Right I'll get a towel for some uh, mess control. This piece fell apart on me. This thing's messy. It's like a salad with everybody. I feel like honestly say it's probably one of my most favorite things I've ever made. You got the good damn sandwich. Every section I pick up like two pounds.
This thing's a beast. I tried to primarily eat just like a sandwich. Not you. It's his shiny moment. Come on, you over here. I can't see your hair over there. <coughs> Sandwich is in the way. About 12 minutes in. I got one section left and some scraps and some bulls and chips on the side here. I hope Mr. Pool assists me and give me a big spoon and I'll clean this up. Subway, so here's what Subway looks like. A couple of fresh lettuce and some dinky pieces of cheese. Like, here's your sandwich, that'll be eight dollars. <laughs> proper. We've got 18 minutes to take down the sandwich. That's six minutes a foot. That's how big it was. That's a cheese thing. I think it's starting my face. Oh, okay. 
Exactly the first contest I ever did. Twenty-one fourteen. All right, Killer Clan. So there you have it. The uh, largest chicken bacon ranch I've ever seen and eaten. If you like this video? Like it. Subscribe if you haven't. It's free. I don't even charge you. Giant Foods usually always post on Fridays. Sometimes we throw a few other things in the mix. Like uh, there's a potential for a video coming up where Molly Skyler and myself eat 100 McDonald's cheeseburgers. I don't know. I guess you'll have to stand by and watch. But until next time, just go to Subway and just get your... I mean, you're going to be disappointed, but go to Subway and get yourself a chicken bacon ranch. Or go to the store and get your own ingredients and make a giant version of it. Until next time, take it easy.